Welcome back to Dead Space. Let's head to the medical deck to try to find the captain's rig to get their access codes. Feels like there's a monster in here. Maybe on the way out? Love to find a stasis refill station. Oh, my first store. Let's see what else is here first. following me. God, the level of detail in the dismemberment is sickeningly good. Medical's that way. I think eventually we'll have a tram here. Okay, I've got some stuff to sell and I'm curious what I can buy. Ooh, so we can buy power nodes, some ammo, some healing, and suit level 2. Increases your inventory capacity to 18 slots and provides 5% armor. Hell yeah! I have just enough money to get that. Right now my inventory capacity is 12, so 18 slots is going to be a lot more. Don't actually need that at the moment, but I'm sure as I get more weapons I will. And I think our suit changes what it looks like, if I remember right. Like, it actually looks fancier as you upgrade it. I feel like this upgrade procedure should probably be done while I'm not wearing the armor. It seems a bit dangerous. I've got more... ribs. More articulations. Oh, that's quite a bit fancier looking already. Look at our inventory. Yeah, that's a lot of slots. Nowhere close to filling it. See if I can get food out of the machine. I think I have a couple nodes, don't I? Yeah, I've got two. Suit level 2, upgrade graph extended. Oh. Yeah, it's quite a bit bigger. Okay, well I've already upgraded the plasma cutter twice, so let's show some love to the suit. Let's get HP. Right now we have 100 points. Now 125! 25% health increase, that's huge. And I can see the two other health upgrades are pretty far away. Um, Let's get air. Don't really need it right now, but... Yeah, I, I want to get to the other HPs. From 70 to 80 seconds of air. I think that's seconds.
you can read that. System reboot, primary system online, secondary system online, checking water filtration, water filtration damaged, advise shutdown, system check restart. I don't know why I just, I've always loved just reading panels and stuff in the world. Scan rig to unlock workstation. The world is wonderfully detailed. Oh, can we read that tag there? No. Quarantined cargo storage. Need security clearance level one. Dragonfly making the virtual real. Medical cargo depot. Wait, what does that say? Hazardous materials in transit. Chapter 1 complete. Chapter 2 intensive care. So now we don't just have stasis, but we have kinesis. Does that take power? Because right now I don't have any. Ah, no, it doesn't. Ooh. How many things can I pick up? Like, oh wow, these are all pick upable. Oops. So I guess it's free damage. I wonder how much damage it does. up that body. Get out of there. You're gumming up the works. I bet there's secrets in here. There's not a damn thing in there. No! Somebody alive in there? Oh, barely. Oh, I think we're gonna get a new weapon. The mouth. Gotta hold the line. They all came back. Use it added to the weapon wheel. Hmm. Oh, it has um an alt fire. If I hold down left trigger and press right button, it shoots a proximity mine, which takes 25 rounds. Which seems to be half a magazine. I think a magazine is 50.
Ah, so the D-pad is the weapon wheel. Okay. Yeah, the proximity mine is exactly what it sounds like. It's a charge that explodes when enemies approach it. Oh, this thing feels pretty good. I don't think it's going to be very powerful if it holds 50 rounds per magazine. Ugh. I don't like how form-fitting those are. Override the tram lockdown. Where do I need to go? So we need to go in there. So what's this do? Where can this take me? Because I don't actually need to take it. Not yet, anyway. Current station medical. Free yourself. Why am I here? You were chosen. Oh, right, I can select where I want to go. So I can go to the hangar cargo tram control, which is probably where we've been before, so I think that's probably just a shortcut back. To the security station. to the morgue. The morgue? Yeah. But the barricade was put together in a hurry. A hydrazine tank might blow it open. Just need a detonator, like maybe a shock pad. The coal could be through there if... Isaac. The one who attacked us. I swear to God it was Chen. But... I saw him die. If they barricaded the morgue, <sighs> maybe it was to keep something in. Although not much of a choice. We need to destroy the barricade. Find a hydrazine tank and find a shock pad. He needs level 2 security clearance to open this. I feel like that's going to be probably pretty far in the future. What could be in there? Probably don't have enough money to buy anything of significance. I think I need 10,000. Yeah, it's just the nodes. Do I even have anything to sell? Nothing just for selling. I could sell my spare healing and stuff, but... I mean, it's on hard, so I'm considering everything not spare. I guess we can go to either of these. I need two objects, so probably in here is the shock pad, because this is imaging diagnostics, and the hydrazine is probably over in here, I'm guessing. That feels right. One key item per area. I can't remember if I just saved it or not. Yeah, 
Now oh, the way that thump was echoing through the hallway. Oh, stasis, nice. I can hear. Well, not anymore, but I heard the blood dripping. Oh, the lighting is so good. Look at that light. I think it's going to cast into the room in just a second. Yeah, look at that. My god. It's so pretty. Can I pick up individual cups with Kinesis? Oh my god, you can! How much damage will this do to an enemy? Oh, it disappeared out of existence. Yeah, there's so many physics objects. It's so cool. Just like break the window? Whoa, Jesus. What the hell just exploded? Be generous and pre-break that for the enemies. Yeah, it took like a full magazine to kill him. It's a little bit harder to hit uh, a limb with this thing because of its shooting pattern being kind of a circle or whatever you'd call that. I wonder, should I even try to go for their limbs? Or with this weapon, should I try to go for center mass or something? Oh, did I stomp on you? Oh, I need a power cube. Yeah, I remember the power cubes. We can grab them with Kinesis. Oh yeah, there's one. Probably only have power for one. Yeah, one or the other. Elevators or doors. Wait, even without doors, this still works? Man, I don't know where to go first. Where am I supposed to go? Up there. Okay, then let's go here. Hello? Oh, shit. Hope I didn't just stomp that guy to death. I think he was already dead. One node? Oh yeah, right. Can upgrade the pulse rifle now that we have it. More capacity would be nice. Damage is the most important ones, of course. Gives you more efficiency for the ammo that you get. Yeah, let's um, let's upgrade it from 50 to 60 rounds.
the hell was that? Oh, what the fuck? Oh, I accidentally shot a mine, I think. Did I? I think I did? I don't know what happened to it. I'm not sure if the mines can hurt you. probably grab that, can't I? Yeah. Oh, they heard that. Waiting for me in the doorway, you creep. Oh, I didn't even need to grab it. I could have just went here. Whatever. Doesn't take power. to go there. So let's go here. Observation room. Medical log, Dr. B. Warwick, Chief Psych Officer. Sensory deprivation treatments. The diagnoses are stacking up as fast as I can file them. Sleep paralysis, hallucinations, nightmares, paranoia. I'm getting patients from all over the ship. No underlying causes showing up in environmental analysis, foodstuffs, or radiation levels. I admit, I'm at a loss. Mercer says he and Kine are working on a hypothesis, so in the meantime, I'm treating the symptoms. I'm seeing some improvement with sensory deprivation treatments in our zero-G therapy pods, but the sheer number of patients we're managing bothers me. Those systems are old, and they need an overhaul. With so many pods active, I worry what might happen if there's a serious power surge down there. But nothing else seems to help. I suppose the odds are low enough. I'd rather take a small, calculated risk than have dozens of miners and engineers impaired around heavy machinery. Yeah, fair enough. Is that what those weird tubes have been, with monsters inside of them? Were those the sensory deprivation chambers? If so, though, they're pretty bad deprivation chambers because they were clear? They allow light in? That's... that's a lot of sensory. Not a lot of deprivation. Whoa! Fuck. Little shit. They're definitely generous with the save points. I appreciate that. I was kind of worried that having it on hard might change how many save points there are. Oh, 
Yeah, the fact that there's level two security stuff all around here means we're definitely going to be coming back here at some point. I mean, maybe you don't have to come back here. I don't actually remember. Maybe it's just you can come back, and if you do, you get some some extras, some bonuses. Oh! Our upgraded air will be good for this. Entering zero gravity. No sound? Yeah, just heavily muted sound. Yeah. yeah, there's some really cool stuff in Dead Space. These sections. There's also zero gravity sections where you can like fly around. It's really cool. Creepy thing about this is that it's so quiet that enemies can very easily sneak up on you. Because the enemies don't need air. So you will fight enemies when there's no air. Use boot and suit thrusters to navigate in zero gravity. Oh yeah, here's a zero gravity section. So I believe that... Ooh. That is really cool. Change your orientation. We can boost, basically sprint. And we can reset our orientation. Let's go upside down. Woohoo! The way Zero Gravity works in the remake is very different from how it was in the original. It used to be pretty severely limited, uh, so basically how it would work is instead of allowing you to take off and then just kind of freely move around like this, you couldn't do the freely moving around part. Uh, instead, you'd be on a surface like here, and you'd be able to point where you want to go. and it would tell you if you can actually fly there, if it's like a valid surface to um, stick your grav boots to. And so you could point like up there, and then you could say boost to it. And your character would, without you being able to control anything, would fly to that point that you're looking at up there. And then your character would orient so that they're stepping on it. And then their like magnetic boots would engage and they would suck them down onto the surface. And you'd be standing up there. It was a very limited kind of low gravity. Not nearly as fluid like this. This is definitely an upgrade, like undoubtedly. And I'm sure back then they probably wanted to do something like this, but it probably was just out of scope to make it that detailed. Oh, can I not melee? Oh yeah, you, you can't melee. Can you really not melee? Just the buttons that normally do melee um, control things like this. Reorient and stuff like that. So, I guess not. I think I'll just shoot them. I mean, a single round is really not that big of a deal. Any more canisters? By the way, what are all of these things? Are these suits? Are these people? What are they? Is there someone in there? Is this like cryostasis? Or is this the sensory deprivation pods? Again, it's not really very depriving of the senses. Well, I guess the suit maybe is. Maybe it's more of a sensory deprivation suit. Anything in here? It's so bright. Wow.
Reorient. Almost made it. Keep going. Close enough. Yeah, I love this new upgraded system. It's so much better than the old one. Exiting zero gravity. Grab the money, yeah. Hydrazine. Still holding this position. What's happening there? Did you find Nicole? No sign of her yet. But I found some hydrazine that should work on the barricade. I just need to find a shock pad. Okay, work fast, Isaac. They're giving me so much plasma energy. My god. Zero gravity. Really curious how zero gravity fighting is going to be. So they still climb on surfaces, but they do launch themselves. Uh, hello? Yeah. Oh, I guess I can't stop stomp the bodies. Back to no air. What the hell? It shut the whole ship. I'll check it out. Entering vacuum. Wait, can we still take off? Oh, we can. Secrets? Yeah. O2 refill. Can we just, like, go out into space? Oh, but I want to go out there. Oh, look at how all the objects get sucked in when the air pressure change happens. Exiting vacuum. I don't remember if that happened with the original, but man, that space is so cool. Yeah, so this place we were walking in before now, now we have to navigate around in zero gravity. It's a cool way to change things up. Instead of taking the lift, we're just jetting down the shaft. Took one step out of the captain's nest and Chen, that thing, he almost got me. You okay? I trapped him in a damaged escape pod. He's snarling like, this is fucked up. Hurry, Isaac. Well, something sounds bad. Schematic. Pulse rounds. Bring them to the store to unlock new items for purchase. Oh, okay. So I'll be able to buy rounds. That's... wow. I unlock the ability to give more money to the store. <laughs> Great. Come on out. Fuck off. Oh, 
Oh shit! Yeah, I got them both. Wait, I thought I was going back the way that I've come before. Is this back or... I think this is actually a new area. Hmm. No, I think the fact that it's blue and not gray where I'm going means that I have been here. Have I? Oh. Oh. Cooling, coolant pipelines. Yeah, I remember coming across here. So I haven't been through there, but now this area I've been through. Yeah, this is like our mini hub area. I think we'll keep coming back here for a little bit. It's just like Dark Souls. Keep unlocking shortcuts. Schematic submitted, item now available for purchase. Pulse rounds. Yeah, I don't think I'll buy consumables unless I'm desperate. I'd rather save up my money for suit upgrades and power nodes. Speaking of which, do I have enough money to get anything? Just one sellable. <laughs> item sale successful. CEC stores. Powering humanity. Empowering you. Nice little ad every time you sell something. Yeah. Only 5,500. Halfway to one node. Let's go find the... Is it the shock pad we need now? Find a shock pad. Yeah, so interesting. From in here we got the hydrazine. I thought the shock pad would be in there. Impaling and throwing. Grab loose objects with kinesis. Throw sharp objects at enemies to impale them. All right, yeah, there's these pokies. They got like glowy, glowy tips on them to hint to you that they're there. Quarantine. Oh, nice. I don't suppose I can reuse that? No, not that. Nope, nope, that's not working. Get me out of here. There's another pokey. I know there's going to be another wave. Right? Oh, 
Oh, I don't even have any more healing. I just burned through all of it. Oh, there's one more. Oh, this lighting is intense. I hear things in the in the air vents. What's going on in there? Okay, I think we need to go down. Oh wow, that was effective. Is this considered sharp? Nice. That's either new to the remake or I never realized it was a thing in the original. I'm looking for shiny things that I can throw. Blow their kneecaps apart. Oh, I should have used mines. That'd be effective against groups. A little late for that, though. Ah. <sighs> and we have light again. Team lifted. Kind of. I mean, this place is terribly lit at the best of times. Stasis back schematic. Looks like that's where I need to go. Do I have any nodes? No. I should probably save before I go exploring too much. where we came from. Oh, it's a stasis recharge. Nicole? It's me. Is this Nicole's place? Dr. N. Brennan. Yeah, it must be Nicole Brennan. Medium med back. Nice. Personal log, Dr. Nicole Brennan. With medication and zero-G therapy, patient Harris is showing improvement. If this continues, there might be hope for the others on Aegis 7. However, Dr. Marcia continues to interfere. He claims Harris's delusions are religiously significant. If I have to make a complaint, I will. I'm not losing my patient over unitology bullshit. Not again. Tracking rig signal. Dr. Nicole Brennan. Rig location? Inconclusive. Manual rig tracking is available. Side mission unlocked. Oh, there it is. I can only do the side mission after I've destroyed the barricade. Anonymized transcript. Patient log, Dr. N. Brennan. 
Counseling session number three, transcript for patient, name redacted. Dr. Brennan, okay, dictation on. I'll keep your name out of the transcript. Jane Doe, thanks. It's just so hard to remember what's real. Dr. Brennan, your church mentor talked to you again. Jane Doe, he knows me and my girlfriend want to leave. I can feel it. Our last seminar was all about heretics. How every unitologist who leaves is an enemy of humanity. Dr. Brennan, unitology is big enough to take care of itself. This is about what's right for you. Just be careful. The church pulls out these tricks when they feel threatened. They have neuropsychiatrists, too. Even if you get out, they'll try to... Jane Doe. Dr. Brennan? Dr. Brennan, sorry, I... Jane Doe, did something happen? Brennan, I had a patient who... I, I tried, and her son tried, so hard, but she... I'll fight for you with everything I've got, but never underestimate how strong the church's pull can be. Yeah, if I remember right, the Unitologists are basically some sort of fanatic cult thing that seem to really like the changes that are going on. Really, honestly, pretty similar to the Callisto Protocol. They, they, did, a, they did a very similar thing in the Callisto Protocol. I'm not sure if it was exactly a cult. I don't know. I guess it was. Oh, mid pack. Another med pack. Uh, okay, where have I been? There, there, and there. Surgical log, Dr. Charles Mercer. Copy to my secure terminal. I need the viewers to show me the video feed from the colony. It's remarkable to finally see what I've sought all my life. The miners, this transformation, the divide death self. Kain is erring on the side of caution. His faith has been shaken by these necromorphs, as he calls them. How strange, when my own faith has been so richly rewarded. With or without kind, I must study one of these creatures. Or the next best thing. Brennan's patient, for example. What a fucking creep. Now what does that say? Activate. Activate what? Ben, what in God's name is happening down there? Precisely that. God's work. How can you say that? These deaths at the colony. The paranoia, the hallucinations. You wanted a scientific analysis? Cause and effect? Well, it all began after they raised the marker. What are you so worried about? The marker is defined. Know this. Look, it'll be on board tomorrow. You can study it then. Put your mind at ease. At ease? People are dying. How can that be the transformation the teachings promise? We're witnessing a new beginning. Terrence, for unitology, for humanity. Of course, our faith is being tested. Everything is about to change. That's what worries me. And recording. Seal entry. Hold on. Is there a secret room behind this bookcase? What the hell's back there? Ah. Hmm. 
Marker Discovery, Personal Log, Dr. T. Kine, Chief Science Officer. Observations on the marker. The vid logs from the colony are poor quality, but I've seen enough to confirm the discovery to Ben. The artifact appears to be a genuine marker, the first to be found since Unitology's founding. We must get it on board at the first opportunity so I can begin a proper study. I can't even imagine the potential of such a find. The black marker offered revelations beyond our wildest dreams, and that was without the benefits of current analytical technology. This new marker, what secrets could it have? What wonders could it offer to humanity, to the Church of Unitology, without EarthGov here to seize them first? This marker could herald the dawn of a new age, and I will do my part to see that age come to pass. Maybe this is fate. In the darkest time of my life, the church and its teachings comforted me, saved me. And now I'm here, in the right place at the right time, to be of service to all humanity, to repay those blessings. Amelia, if only you could be here now. Alright, as much as I really want to keep playing, I need to go to bed. I've got to stop, so I'm going to end the episode here. Hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, we're going to head to Biological Prosthetics to get the shock pad to blow open the barricade.